Go into your library of images and open up three or four images if you want to play along. This is Play Along with Andy Day. If not, you can just kind of watch me. But what we're looking at is four images. I opened up four. Now, we are also looking at the absolute default way Photoshop works. If you've not changed anything, you'll get them as tabs up here. Now, the tab gives us information, tells us the name, tells us the size currently we're viewing it at, the color space, and the bit depth. So all mine are raw images, NEFs, 16.7% view, RGB 16-bit images, and that's fine. If I click on one, it becomes the active image. We know that. Anything that I do is applied to the active image. And there are times when I do want to work on more than one image at a time, but I will give you a word of caution here. The more images that are open, even though they're not physically being viewed, you're viewing one at a time, obviously the more resources are required to make Photoshop run efficiently. So if you didn't need them open, you could always click the little X button right there and shut it down. I mean, if you don't need it open, why have it open? You can always reopen it again. If we want to change how we view them, we can do that by going right up to the word window and down to Arrange. Now, in Arrange, we have tiling vertically and horizontally, two up horizontal, two up vertical, three up horizontal, all these different ways that we can view them. If we go into, say, how about two up vertical? Now, that actually gives me three of them over here, but it gives me two areas. And again, when you're working, the one that's selected becomes the active one. Let's go ahead and go back again into Consolidate All to Tabs, which is the default, probably the one I use the most. If we go back up there again, we can go Old School and say Float All in Windows. Do you remember the days when this is actually how we worked on images in Photoshop? They were all floating in Windows. If we want to go back again, let's go back again one more time and go Consolidate All to Tabs. Now let's say we're working on this one right here and we decide we want to change its zoom, its size. Now we can use the zoom tool, but we'll use the shortcut. And that's the control key in Windows, the command key on a Mac, and the plus and minus keys. And you can make it you know, bigger or smaller. Let's say we get it down about like that, but the other ones aren't that way, are they? They're the same size. And what I don't want to do is go to each one, one at a time, and change them because this is the new size that I want. Select the one that has the size that you want. Come up to the word window and go down to arrange and go into match zoom or match location or match rotation or match everything. If we go match zoom, as you can see, all the images now are exactly the same size. Working in a view to me is important because it gives us the ability to well, view the image. This is Photoshop. We are working on photos. Getting it to the right view for me as I work is important. Remember, you've got that ability here to change multiple images simply by going back up to the word window and matching them. Or you could change it to any one of these other options that you have. Changing the view.